World music, also called global music or international music, is a musical category encompassing many different styles of music from around the globe. It includes many forms of ethnic music, indigenous music, folk music, neo-traditional music, and music where more than one cultural tradition, such as non-Western music and Western popular music, intermingle. World music's inclusive nature and elasticity as a musical category may pose for some obstacles to a universal definition, but its ethic of interest in the culturally exotic is encapsulated in Fruits magazine's description of the genre as local music from out there. The term was popularized in the 1980s as a marketing category for non-Western traditional music. It has grown to include hybrid subgenres such as world fusion, global fusion, ethnic fusion, and world beat. Topic: Terminology. The term has been credited to ethnomusicologist Robert E. Brown, who coined it in the early 1960s at Wesleyan University in Connecticut, where he developed undergraduate through the doctoral programs in the discipline. To enhance the learning process John Hill, he invited more than a dozen visiting performers from Africa and Asia and began a world music concert series. The term became current in the 1980s as a marketing, classificatory device in the media and the music industry. There are several conflicting definitions for world music. One is that it consists of all the music in the world. Though such a broad definition renders the term virtually meaningless, the term also is taken as a classification of music that combines Western popular music styles with one of many genres of non-Western music that are also described as folk music or ethnic music. However, world music is not exclusively traditional folk music. It may include cutting-edge pop music styles as well. Succinctly, it can be described as local music from out there or someone else's local music. It is a very nebulous term with an increasing number of genres that fall under the umbrella of world music to capture musical trends of combined ethnic style and texture, including Western elements examples noted in this section. World music may incorporate distinctive non-Western scales, modes and or musical inflections, and often features distinctive traditional ethnic instruments, such as the kora West African harp, the steel drum, the sitar or the didgeridoo. Music from around the world exerts wide cross-cultural influence as styles naturally influence one another, and in recent years world music has also been marketed as a successful genre in itself. Academic study of world music, as well as the musical genres and individual artists associated with it appear in such disciplines as anthropology, folkloristics, performance studies and ethnomusicology. Evolving terminology In the age of digital music production the increased availability of high-quality, ethnic music samples, sound bites and loops from every known region are commonly used in commercial music production, which has exposed a vast spectrum of indigenous music texture to developing, independent artists. An amalgamation of roots music in the global, contemporary listening palette has become apparent, which weakens the role major entertainment labels can play in the cultural perception of genre boundaries. As a result, definitions of the genre have become particularly varied, and determined by particularly wide-ranging and varied opinions. Similar terminology between distinctly different subcategories under primary music genres, such as world, rock and pop can be as ambiguous and confusing to industry moguls as it is to consumers. As Damian Burns writes, this is especially true in the context of world music, where branches of ethnically influenced pop trends are as genre defined by consumer perception as they are by the music industry forums that govern the basis for categorical distinction. Academic scholars tend to agree that, in today's world of consumer music reviews and blogging, global music culture's public perception is what ultimately distills a prevailing basis for definition from genre ambiguity, regardless of how clearly a category has been outlined by corporate marketing forums and music journalism. 
The world music genre's gradual migration from a clear spectrum of roots music traditions to an extended list of hybrid subgenres is a good example of the motion genre boundaries can exhibit in a globalizing pop culture. The classic, original definition of world music was in part created to instill a perceived authenticity and distinction between indigenous music traditions and those that eventually become diluted by pop culture, and the modern debate over how possible it is to maintain that perception in the richly diverse genre of world music is ongoing. In a report on the 2014 Global Fest National Public Radio's Anastasia Sulkas said, even within the world music community, nobody likes the term world music. It smacks of all kinds of loaded issues, from cultural colonialism to questions about what's authentic and what isn't and who might get to police such inquiries, and forces an incredible array of styles that don't have anything in common under the label of exotic other. What's more, I believe that in many people's imaginations, World music means a kind of fairly awful, gloppy, hippie-ish, worldbeat fusion. It's a problematic, horrible term that satisfies absolutely no one. Topic. Early influences Millie Small released, My Boy Lollipop. In 1964, Small's version was a hit, reaching number two both in the UK singles chart and in the US Billboard Hot 100. In the 1960s, Miriam Makeba and Hugh Masekela had popular hits in the USA. Ravi Shankar played sitar at the Woodstock Festival. In the 1970s, Manu Dibango's funky track, Soul Mikasa, 1972, became a hit, and Osabisa released, Sunshine Day, 1976. Fela Kuti created Afrobeat and Femi Kuti, Soon Kuti and Tony Allen followed Fela Kuti's funky music. Salsa musicians such as Jose Alberto, Ray Cepeda, Johnny Pacheco, Fania All-Stars, Ray Barreto, Ruben Blades, Gilberto Santa Rosa, Roberto Roena, Bobby Valentin, Eddie Palmieri, Hector Lavoe and Willie Colon developed Latin music. Topic. Forms Examples of popular forms of world music include the various forms of non-European classical music e.g. Japanese koto and Chinese gujung music, Indian raga music, Tibetan chants, Eastern European folk music e.g. the village music of the Balkans, the mystery of the Bulgarian voices, Nordic folk music and the many forms of folk and tribal music of the Middle East, Africa, Asia, Oceania, Central and South America, Latin music, and Indonesian music. The Breton musician Alan Stevel pioneered the connection between traditional folk music, modern rock music and world music with his 1972 album Renaissance of the Celtic Harp. At this time, Stevel's contemporary, Welsh singer-songwriter Meic Stevens popularised Welsh folk music. Neo-traditional Welsh language music featuring a fusion of modern instruments and traditional instruments such as the pibgorn and the Welsh harp has been further developed by artists such as Bob Dylan R. Ebillion. Lebanese musical pioneer Lydia Kanan fused Middle Eastern quarter notes and microtones with Anglophone folk, and is listed in the catalogue of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museums Library and Archives as the first rock star of the Middle East. More recently, other Welsh language bands such as Kalen and Nine Bach have achieved international acclaim. Experimental psychedelic rock group Super Furry Animals' as Welsh language album MWNG was released in May 2000 and re-released in May 2015, captures the spirit of world music as trying to hang on to something that's under serious threat from advanced capitalism. The broad category of world music includes isolated forms of ethnic music from diverse geographical regions. These dissimilar strains of ethnic music are commonly categorized together by virtue of their indigenous roots. Over the 20th century, the invention of sound recording, low-cost international air travel and common access to global communication among artists and the general public has given rise to a related phenomenon called crossover music. 
Musicians from diverse cultures and locations could readily access recorded music from around the world, see and hear visiting musicians from other cultures and visit other countries to play their own music, creating a melting pot of stylistic influences. While communication technology allows greater access to obscure forms of music, the pressures of commercialization also present the risk of increasing musical homogeneity, the blurring of regional identities, and the gradual extinction of traditional local music-making practices. <laughs> <laughs> Hybrid examples Since the music industry established this term, the fuller scope of what an average music consumer defines as world music in today's market has grown to include various blends of ethnic music tradition, style and interpretation, and derivative world music genres have been coined to represent these hybrids, such as world fusion, global fusion, ethnic fusion or worldbeat. Good examples of hybrid, world fusion are the Irish, West African meld of Afro-Celt sound system, the pan-cultural sound of Ao music and the jazz, Finnish folk music of Vartina, each of which bear tinges of contemporary, Western influence—an increasingly noticeable element in the expansion genres of world music. World fusion, worldbeat, ethnic fusion, global fusion can also blend specific indigenous sounds with more blatant elements of Western pop. Good examples are Paul Simon's album Graceland, on which South African Mbakanga music is heard, Peter Gabriel's work with Pakistani Sufi singer, Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan, The Deep Forest Project, in which vocal loops from West Africa are blended with Western, contemporary rhythmic textures and harmony structure, and the work of Mango, who combined pop and rock music with world elements. Depending on style and context, world music can sometimes share the New Age music genre, which is a category that often includes ambient music and textural expressions from indigenous roots sources. Good examples are Tibetan bowls, Tuvan throat singing, Gregorian chant or Native American flute music. World music blended with New Age music is a sound, loosely classified as the hybrid genre ethnic fusion. Examples of ethnic fusion are Nicholas Gunn's Face to Face from Beyond Grand Canyon, featuring authentic Native American flute combined with synthesizers, and Four Worlds from the music of the Grand Canyon, featuring spoken word from Razor Saltboy of the Navajo Indian Nation. Topic. World fusion The subgenre world fusion is often mistakenly assumed to refer exclusively to a blending of Western jazz fusion elements with world music. Although such a hybrid expression falls easily into the world fusion category, the suffix fusion in the term world fusion should not be assumed to mean only jazz fusion. Western jazz combined with strong elements of world music is more accurately termed world fusion jazz, ethnic jazz, or non Western jazz. World fusion and global fusion are nearly synonymous with the genre term worldbeat, and though these are considered subgenres of popular music, they may also imply universal expressions of the more general term, world music. Throughout the 1970s and 80s, fusion in the jazz music genre implied a blending of jazz and rock music, which is where the misleading assumption is rooted. Popular non-Western genres Although it primarily describes traditional music, the world music category also includes popular music from non-Western urban communities e.g. South African township music and non-European music forms that have been influenced by other so-called third world musics e.g. Afro-Cuban music, although Western-style popular song sourced from non-English-speaking countries in Europe e.g. French pop music would not generally be considered world music, Paris is one of the great European capitals for world music. For many years, the city has attracted numerous musicians from former colonies in West and North Africa. This scene is aided by the fact that there are many concerts and institutions that help to promote the music. Algerian and Moroccan music have an important presence in the French capital. 
Hundreds of thousands of Algerian and Moroccan immigrants have settled in Paris, bringing the sounds of Amazigh, Berber, Rai, and Nawa music. The West African community is also very large, integrated by people from Senegal, Mali, Ivory Coast, and Guinea. Topic: 1987 meeting. On the 29th of June 1987, a meeting of interested parties gathered to capitalize on the marketing of this genre. Arguably popular interest had been sparked with the release in 1986 of Paul Simon's Graceland album. The concept behind the album was to express his own sensibilities using the sounds he had fallen in love with while listening to artists from Southern Africa, including Ladysmith, Black Mombazo and Savuka. This project and the work of Peter Gabriel and Johnny Clegg among others had, to some degree, introduced non-Western music to a wider audience. They saw this as an opportunity. Although specialist music stores had been important in developing the genre over many years, the record companies, broadcasters and journalists had been finding it difficult to build a following because the music, itself, seemed too scarce. However, they were aware that the jazz and classical markets had developed a crossover audience. They decided the best way forward would be a collective strategy to bring the music to a wider audience. At the outset of the 1987 meeting, the musician Roger Armstrong advised the reason why something had to be done. He felt that the main problem in selling our kind of material lay with the UK retail outlets and, specifically, the fact that they did not know how to rack it coherently. This discouraged the retail stores from stocking the material in any depth and made it more difficult for the record buyers to become acquainted with our catalogs. The first concern of the meetings was to select the umbrella name that this music would be listed under. Suggestions included world beat and prefixing words such as hot or tropical to existing genre titles. World music one after a show of hands, but initially it was not meant to be the title for a whole new genre. But just something the record labels could place on record sleeves to distinguish them during the forthcoming campaign. Afterward, they agreed that despite the publicity campaign, this wasn't an exclusive club. And that for the good of all, any label that sold this type of music could use the name. Another issue was the distribution methods at the time. Most main labels were unhappy with the lack of specialist knowledge in their sales force, which led to poor service. Many larger outlets were reluctant to carry the music, because they favored larger releases they could promote within the store. It was difficult to justify a large presentation expense with limited stock going into stores. Topic. World Music Market. One of the marketing strategies used in the vinyl market at the time was the use of browser cards, which would appear in the record racks. As part of the World Music campaign, it was decided that these would be a two-color affair designed to carry a special offer package. To aid the retailer a selection of labels would also be included, presumably for shelf or rack edging. In an unprecedented move, all of the world music labels coordinated together and developed a compilation cassette for the cover of the music magazine NME. The overall running time was 90 minutes, each package containing a mini catalog showing the other releases on offer. By the time of a second meeting it became clear that a successful campaign required its own dedicated press officer. The press officer would be able to juggle various deadlines and sell the music as a concept, not just to national stations, but also regional DJs keen to expand their musical variety. DJs were a key resource as it was important to make world music important to people outside London. Most regions after all had a similarly heritage to tap into. A cost-effective way of achieving all this would be a leafleting campaign. The next step was to develop a world music chart, gathering together selling information from around 50 shops, so that it would finally be possible to see which were big sellers in the genre. So new listeners could see what was particularly popular. 
It was agreed that the NME could again be involved in printing the chart and also Music Week and the London listings magazine City Limits. It was also suggested that Andy Kershaw might be persuaded to do a rundown of this chart on his show regularly. Topic: Relationship to immigration and multiculturalism. In most wealthy industrialized countries, large amounts of immigration from other regions has been ongoing for many decades. This has introduced non-Western music to Western audiences not only as exotic imports, but also as local music played by fellow citizens. But the process is ongoing and continues to produce new forms. In the 2010s several musicians from immigrant communities in the West rose to global popularity, such as Haitian-American Wyclef Jean, Somali-Canadian Kanan, Tamil Britain MIA, or Lebanese-Colombian Shakira, often blending the music of their heritage with hip-hop or pop. Cuban-born singer-songwriter Adiz Mercedes started her international career from Germany mixing traditional elements of sun with pop once, an established Western artist might collaborate with an established African artist to produce an album or two. Now, new bands and new genres are built from the ground up by young performers. For example, the Punjabi-Irish fusion band Delhi to Dublin is from neither India nor Ireland, but Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Country for Syria, an Istanbul-based music collective, blends American country music with the music of Syrian refugees and local Turkish music. Musicians and composers also work collectively to create original compositions for various combinations of ethnic and Western instruments. Topic World Music Month The World Music Month started in October 1987. It is a music festival held at the Town and Country Club in London, and it was the start of the winter season for both WOMAD and Arts Worldwide. More and more international artists, many of whom are big stars in their own countries, are coming to England and North America on tour. They started off, like the Boondoo Boys, playing small clubs and pubs, but now many acts are so popular that they are filling larger venues. Examples of radio shows that feature world music include World of Music on Voice of America, Transpacific Sound Paradise on WFMU, The Planet on Australia's ABC Radio National, DJ Adu presenting DNA, Destination Africa on BBC Radio 1 Extra, Adol Ray on the BBC Asian Network, Andy Kershaw's show on BBC Radio 3 and Charlie Gillett's show on the BBC World Service. Topic: 2010s radio programs. World music radio programs today often play African hip hop or reggae artists, crossover bhangra and Latin American jazz groups, etc. Common media for world music include public radio, webcasting, the BBC, NPR, and the Australian Broadcasting Corporation. By default, non-region specific or multicultural world music projects are often listed under the generic category of world music. Topic. Criticisms World music is defined in opposition, and relative, to Western popular music and Western art music, and its constituent musics are positioned as equivalent to one another, despite the fact that they may have vastly different musical qualities. Therefore the treatment of so-called world music is unequal to that of the normative music of the global West. This is primarily due to the fact that dominant corporate structures for music distribution and promotion originate in Europe and North America, as do the forums for establishing industry genre categories. Therefore, in market context, ethnic music is synthetically defined by a radius that extends from a Western center. Some musicians and curators of music have come to dislike the term world music. To these critics, world music is a parochial, catch-all marketing term for non-Western music of all genres. In October 1999, Luica Bop label founder and ex-Talking Heads frontman David Byrne wrote in, I hate world music, 
editorial in The New York Times explaining his objections to the term. Byrne argued that the labeling and categorization of other cultures as exotic serves to attract an insincere consumption and deter other potential consumers. Topic. Awards The BBC Radio 3 Awards for World Music was an award given to world music artists between 2002 and 2008, sponsored by BBC Radio 3. The award was thought up by Fruits Magazine's editor Ian Anderson, inspired by the BBC Radio 2 Folk Awards. Award categories included Africa, Asia, Pacific, Americas, Europe, Mid East, and North Africa, Newcomer, Culture Crossing, Club Global, Album of the Year, and Audience Award. Initial lists of nominees in each category were selected annually by a panel of several thousand industry experts. Shortlisted nominees were voted on by a 12-member jury, which selected the winners in every category except for the Audience Award category. These jury members were appointed and presided over by the BBC. The annual awards ceremony was held at the BBC Proms and winners were given an award called a Planet. In March 2009, the BBC made a decision to axe the BBC Radio 3 Awards for World Music. In response to the BBC's decision to end its awards programme, the British world music magazine Songlines launched the Songlines Music Awards in 2009 to recognise outstanding talent in world music. The WOMEX Awards were introduced in 1999 to honor the high points of world music on an international level and to acknowledge musical excellence, social importance, commercial success, political impact and lifetime achievement. Every October at the WOMEX event, the award figurine, an ancient mother goddess statue dating back about 6,000 years to the Neolithic age, is presented in an award ceremony to a worthy member of the world music community. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Festivals. Many festivals are identified as being world music. Here is a small representative selection. The WOMAD Foundation organizes festivals in countries around the world, Australia, the Globe to Globe World Music Festival takes place in the city of Kingston, Melbourne, for two days each year in January, Bangladesh. The Dhaka World Music Festival takes place in Dhaka, Belgium. S. Finks Festival in Bohout, Belgium is a four-day world music festival, Canada. Sunfest is an annual four-day world music festival that happens in London, Ontario, primarily in Victoria Park, that typically runs the weekend after Canada Day in early July. Sunfest is billed as Canada's premier celebration of world cultures, Croatia. Ethnoambient is a two- or three-day world music festival held every summer started 1998, in Solin, a town in centre part of Dalmatia, south part of Croatia, France. The Festival de l'Inde takes place in Evian, Haute-Savoie. Fête de la Musique, World Music Day, was initiated in 1982 in France. World Music Day has been celebrated on the 21st of June every year since then. Germany. The TFF Rudolstadt takes place annually on the first full July weekend in Rudolstadt, Thuringia, Germany. The German World Music Festival Der Klangfreunde takes place every first weekend of August, at Schlosspark Loshausen. Klangfreunde e. v. is a non-profit organization. Wild Tone, Festival für Folk und Weltmusik in Braunschweig, Germany, Hungary. Budapest Ritmo Festival takes place in Budapest, Hungary. The WOMEX When in Budapest, 2015, Iceland. Fest Africa Reykjavik takes place every September India. The Lakshminarayana Global Music Festival LGMF takes place annually during December to January, often across several major cities in India. The LGMF has also traveled to 22 countries, Indonesia. Matasora World Music Festival held in Bandung, Java, Iran. 
The Fajr International Music Festival is Iran's most prestigious music festival founded in 1986. The festival is affiliated with UNESCO and includes national and international competition sections. Since its establishment, many musicians from several countries like Austria, Germany, France participated in the event. The festival have enjoyed a strong presence of Asian countries as well, Italy. The Ariano Folk Festival is a five-day world music festival held every summer in Ariano Urpino, a small town in southern Italy. The World Music Festival Lo Sigardo di Ulisse was first held in 1997 in Campania, Italy, Macedonia. Office is a five-day world music festival held every summer started 2002 in Skopje, Malaysia. Rainforest World Music Festival is another world music festival held in Malaysia, Mali. Festival O Desert takes place every year at Esakane, near Timbuktu, in Mali, West Africa and has achieved international status in spite of the difficulties of reaching its location, Morocco. Mawazin is a festival of world music that takes place annually in Rabat, Morocco, featuring Arab and international music icons, New Zealand. Festival in New Plymouth, New Zealand. Early March each year, Poland. The Cross Culture Warsaw Festival, Poland. September each year. Brave Festival, Wrocław, Poland. July each year. Ethno Port, Poznan, Poland. June each year. Ethno Jazz Festival in Wrocław, Poland. Several events throughout the whole year. Different Sounds, in Brzmienia, Lublin, Poland. July each year. Francophonic Festival in Warsaw, Poland. March each year. Now a Tradition, New Tradition, Warsaw, Poland. May each year. Siesta Festival, Gdańsk, Poland. First edition in April, May 2011, Portugal. Festival Musicas do Mundo, Signs, Setubal District is a world music festival first held in 1998. Romania Play Festival in Timisoare, Serbia. The Serbia World Music Festival is a three day world music festival held every summer in Takovo, a small village in central Serbia. Spain Spain's most important world music festivals are Etnosur, in Alcala La Real, Jaén, Andalusia Region, Pirineos Sur, in Aragon Region, Festival Internacional de Musica Popular Tradicional in Villanova i La Geltru, Villanova International World Music Festival, Catalonia. La Mar de Musicas, in Cartagena, Murcia region. Fira Mediterranea, in Manresa, Catalonia. The WOMEX when in Seville 2003, 2006, 2007, 2008, Territorios, in Seville Sweden, Green World Yoga and Sacred Music Festival, June this year at Skane. Turkey Konya Mystic Music Festival, held annually in Konya since 2004, in recent years in commemoration of Rumi's birthday. The festival features traditional music from around the world with a mystical theme, religious function and or sacred content. Fithai World Music Festival. The Fithai World Music Festival presents musicians from different countries of the world for concerts that will contribute to the city's arts and culture. Uganda Milej World Music Festival has become a big festival in Uganda, inviting musicians and fans from all over Africa and the rest of the world to enjoy live music, games, sports, and so on. The festival runs for three consecutive days every November at the Botanical Gardens, Entebbe, Ugandakrain Svirzh World Music Festival, Lviv Region, United Kingdom Glastonbury Festival held at Worthy Farm near Glastonbury each year Musicport World Music Festival held annually at the Spa Pavilion, Whitby, North Yorkshire. The Music Village Festival is held every two years in London and has been running since 1987. It is organized by the Cultural Cooperation. Drum Camp established in 1996 as a unique world music festival. Each event takes you on a musical journey around the world, combining ancient rhythmic traditions with the most modern and cutting-edge grooves and beats. 
WOMAD Festival has been running annually since 1986 and is currently held at Charlton Park in Wiltshire, United States. The California World Music Festival is held each July at the Nevada County Fairgrounds. The World Sacred Music Festival is held annually in Olympia, Washington State, sponsored by Interfaith Works. Floydfest in Floyd, Virginia, United States, has featured artists from a wide diversity of styles. The Finger Lakes Grassroots Festival of Music and Dance in Trumansburg, New York, United States, has featured artists from a variety of world and ethnic music genres. Stern Grove Festival is a San Francisco celebration of musical and cultural diversity, including symphony orchestras and operatic stars. The Starwood Festival is a seven-day neo-pagan, new age, multicultural and world music festival that has been held in July every year since 1981 at various locations in the United States. The World Music and Dance Festival is held annually each spring at the California Institute of the Arts. Topic. See also Musicology World cinema Folk music List of cultural and regional genres of music <laughs>